hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tax studio in this video we will learn how can we do co-simulation of record time software and edm software let's start so at the first step we will check the compatibility of record time and edm software for that we will go to here just click here and then here we can find the option help so in help we can find a recordine online help so we just click on it so this window will pop up so from here we can see at the second there is a user face interface so we'll click on this plus sign and here we will find our application version click on it and here we can find the compatibility of different software with our Recordine uh, version that we have installed in our uh, system. So from here we will go down and from external SPI we can see that there is a EDM and this Recordine supports the 2018.2 to 2022.2. So we must have EDM software between these. Okay, we have we we may we have uh, 2.18 or may we have 2.22 or uh, between these two. So this is the first step that we will check the compatibility of uh, our uh, softwares. And from here you can see that I have EDM. 22.1 so it means that this is fully compatible with our recordine 2024 so in the next step we will do the configuration between the EDM and recordine for that we will go to this EDM icon we just right click on it and then we will select open file location and then we will click here or you can also open this from C folder, program file, Altair, and then uh, 2020. It's about uh, your version of EDM and then EDM. So in this folder, we can find a folder name LIB. We will open this one. And in this folder, we can find a configuration file. We just need to copy this file. And then first, we will paste it, paste it on our desktop. Okay. Then we will right click on it and then we will open this file in notepad so in this uh, file we we have to find the uh, like the path so this is the path example okay so this is the path and we have to update this path according to our uh, uh, like the our folder so for that first uh, we will go back to the lib folder so here you can see that this is the path of this file we just select this one okay click here and copy this uh, path and then we will come here and we will select from C to lip okay so we will replace this one until lib and then control paste similarly we will copy this path from here to here okay and then copy this path and then insert this path at this place and paste so please check that and make and take care of uh, this step because if you make the mistake then maybe there will be a problem with co-simulation so these two paths okay the same and then we need to save this file okay so we just save this file we close this file and again we just recheck that our path is okay open it and uh, here we can see that our path is okay so the next step is we just copy this one we copy this updated file and then we will right click on recordine and then we will go to the open file location and here 
we will find a folder name is solver uh, you can also remember this path you can open this from the C and then go to solver and under the solver you can find a cosim in cosim you can find a particle interface and we just need to paste it here I already have this one okay when you will do this first time so this folder will be empty so you can just paste uh, this file here okay right click it then paste okay and the third step is uh, we will open this one our EDM software okay so this is our EDM software we will go to tool and then uh, we will go to option and here we will select additional component and make sure that this record line coupling is check okay so we need to make it check and then we can just click on okay next we will open the record line so you just need to do this configuration for the first time in future if you have different project and you want to do code simulation then, then you don't need to do this process and we just said OK and here you can see that there is a in uh, recordine there is the option that is external SPI and external XPI you can see we have this option and here we will click on the setting and under the setting we will go to the info and make sure that this is the same path okay so this path must be similar to the path that we have updated in the uh, configuration file okay so it means that if this path is uh, exactly same it means that uh, the configuration is uh, uh, like uh, correct and we just close this one okay now we need to go to the con we need to go to the environmental environment variable so from here you can just type variable so you will go to the system environment variable and then we will click here on the uh, environment variable so here we have to see the path so this is the path so we will double click on path and you must uh, add these two paths here okay so you can just remember this one one the same one end with pin and one end with lib if you don't have this uh, path you can just uh, create new and then you can type the same path it's uh, depend on your uh, version of EDM software okay so you just you must have these two paths here okay it's according to your uh, version maybe there will be change here okay then okay similarly in this section we will go to the path double click on it and in this we can see the same path must be here okay the same path must be here if you don't have so you can use this new option and here you can just type or you can just paste uh, so I don't want this one okay because I already have and the last step is that uh, we will go to we have to create our environment variable uh, let me show you I already have created yes this one so fr from here you will click on the new and uh, then a new environment variable uh, window will pop up so you need to just create it it will be like this one so you just need to type the same SPI path DM and then you need to copy this path is here you can copy this path from uh, here setting and info so you can copy this path from here and just create a new environment variable with name is this and the path is this and then said okay and then said okay so that's all so this is the fourth step
and you must have a and uh, then what we will do we will go to home and I already have a, a, a model created in EDM uh, or created in Recordine so you can create your model in the Recordine so I'm just going to open that one Yeah, this one. Just open this one. Click and open. So I have created my model in Recordine, and now I want to export this body into EDM software, right? So for that, uh, we will go to External XPI, and here you can find the optional wall. So just select the wall and select the bodies that you want to convert it to wall. Let's you will select this one, then select the wall, then it will create the wall, and then select the this one and just select the wall. Okay, and here you can see it's created. Okay, and this is the wall one, wall two. You can rename this. So I just need to do this because I have wall one, wall two because I just have two body. So how many body? If you have ten bodies in your model and you just want to uh, export five bodies to EDM, so you can just select that five bodies, or you can select all the bodies. It's up to you according to your requirement. Okay. When you finish this, then go to export option, and here you can see there is a DEM or and the file type must be wall. So you can save this one uh, in Recordine and or anywhere in the folder so I already saved this one when you will save it will be look like this okay and just click on save now we have uh, done our model and we have exported our bodies that we want to open in EDM software and then we will open the EDM and here uh, we will import uh, these bodies here okay I already have created and you will just create your body and you will assign different material according to your requirement just file and then I already have the model so I just go to open and this is my model okay so you can see that this is my model I uh, import to export two bodies so I export these two bodies from uh, ED uh, from the record time okay and here uh, you can see that in the creator tree I have the bulk material so you can define the bulk material according to your requirement then equipment material and here you can see that we have option like wall 1 wall 2 to import the body that you exported from the record line. you just right click on it and then you can find option import a body from record line. so you will just specify the this DEM wall and open and all the bodies will appear here okay next we will create a section plane and we just for uh, like we just to create the uh, uh, material factory okay and this is our boundary conditions okay and then we just uh, go to the simula uh, simulation so for simulation we don't need to do anything here because we are going to control this uh, one from uh, the recordine okay just save this okay and here you will find an option coupling just click this one now you can see that the it, it's waiting for the coupling and then we will do come here right and uh, from here it must be connect then go to analysis and then go to this option and here we can specify the simulation time and here we can specify the number of steps okay and uh, let's pause I just put uh, 2000 okay and here the display animation must be checked okay and then you just need to click on the simulate
we need to open this one right and here you can see that the simulation is started we are going to control this simulation from motion of this simulation from the record eye and similarly here you can see that so in this way I make a detailed video in this way you can follow step by step like first step is check the compatibility second step make the configuration and then you just need to create the uh, environment variables and then you need to create your model into Recordine and then export this model to EDM and EDM you can assign the uh, bulk material you can define the uh, uh, equipment material and you can uh, specify the uh, like the uh, factory uh, for material and then you just need to so open this couple survey and then we will do the uh, simulation from here so this is a detailed video about how you can do the cold simulation and still you have uh, any problem you can uh, comment you can give feedback in the comments and i will uh, clear your uh, if you have any confusion so i will clear that so here you can see in this way we can do the core simulation. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon.